Yo, what's going on guys? It's JJ here. I hope you're all having a great day. Before I get into this, the topic of this video, I just wanted to encourage anyone watching this to go ahead and watch to the end. And if you enjoy my video, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm trying to post videos every other day. Um, I want to get to posting a video a day pretty soon here, but I'm still trying to kind of adjust to my new work schedule and whatnot. Um, and I also wanted to say, if you have any... If you have any criticism, like positive or negative, if you have anything to say at all about my video, go ahead and leave me a comment. Um, I'm always looking for new ways I can improve my videos. Um, and I think all that being said, let's get into it. Um, so today's video, I'm gonna be talking about getting kicked out of my parents' house um, and kind of more the events like leading up to it. So I made another video called Blacking Out on Xanax in front of my whole family. I don't know if that's the act exact title but that is um it's the the gist of the video i'll leave a link to that video and a, a little thing you can click on at the end of the video if you want to go watch that because that kind of that kind of gives a detailed description of um that story which has it which basically which is basically like the grounds to me getting kicked out um so if you haven't seen that go ahead and watch it and i'll give a brief overview of what i talked about in that video but um I mean, like, long story short, uh, we went to my aunt's house for the 4th of July, like we do every year. I stole Xanax out of my cousin's purse um, and blacked out, and it was kind of just, I mean, it was just an accident. I mean, stealing it was an accident, but blacking out and making an ass of myself and my whole family was not intentional, and, you know, my parents saw me like that. I, like, tried to fight my dad that night. I got arrested. And the cop was nice enough to take me home. It was just basically a shit show. And my parents saw all of it. My family saw all of it. So um, now we're going to kind of go off from that story and talk about what happens after that. Leading up to me getting kicked out of my parents' house. Um, so yeah, blacked out on Xanax. Really, really fucking bad. Um, kind of was a turning point for my life. Um, again, up to that point, I really only smoked weed. I did the occasional acid. I had done Xanax like once before, but nothing really bad happened. Um, but this was kind of, this was eye opening for me. And this was kind of the first sign that there might be a deeper problem to my substance use. Um, but you know, after, after the 4th of July, we go home and it's just like a few days of really like uncomfortable silences between me and my parents and my whole family right i just kind of stayed in my room played video games kind of minded my own business and just tried to ignore everyone and not think about what happened because uh, truly it was like i mean it was giving me an incredible amount of fucking anxiety knowing that that shit happened like i grew up in a really good home with like good christian loving parents like genuinely good parents like, I was sheltered my whole life, went to private school. Like, that shit isn't supposed to happen to my family, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, they're not supposed to have a kid who blacks out on Xanax at a family function because, like, I've always been just, like, kind of the innocent, like, good kid. I mean, I got into some trouble at, like, my high school, but it was really nothing serious. It was just, like, harmless shit, and, like, this is now kind of serious, right? This is unlike anything my family's ever seen before. So, um, you know, this is eye, like eye opening to them too. But anyways, like, um, my, my dad, basically my dad and my mom one night, they call me down to talk to me and I go in their room and, uh, you know, they kind of, they kind of lay out the grounds of what's going to happen here with me. And there was a lot of yelling, um, a lot of arguing and like basically what i was arguing was telling them that it's just it was just like an accident like it won't ever happen again and i meant that like i'll just never take xanax again like it was an accident i'm sorry like i learned my lesson you know i tried to i tried to spill all that for them but they weren't buying it you know they were just yelling at me it's basically um the ultimatum they gave me is either i go get help or they're gonna kick me out of the house and you know i tried to argue and you know like i mean to a certain extent i like a like what I was saying was true. I mean, like it was an accident. Like I had no intention of doing that. And like, I didn't want to ever do Xanax again, but we found out later that I do it again. But you know, at the time I didn't know, I didn't, I really did not believe I was a drug addict. I didn't even believe it was an issue. I really believed it was an accident. And I think there's truth to that, but they weren't buying it. So pretty much, um, you know, I just, I just said like after a lot of yelling, I just told them fine, like I'll go get help. Just please don't kick me out. So, um, 
you know, I'm talking to all these like re, like fucking AA counselors and shit from my church and like they're trying to explain to my parents what I'm dealing with like he's gonna fuck you over and go put needles in his arm all this shit like you can't trust him he's gotta go get help now like he's fucked like all this crazy shit just filling my parents head with like a bunch of nonsense honestly and like um, my parents are the kind of parents, like, they go to the extreme with everything, right? Like, I black out on Xanax, and they immediately assume that I have to be sent away for eight years or some shit, right? Um, they always go to the extreme, so, of course, they're saying I have to go, you know, do some kind of program. And this program is basically seven weeks of AA meetings, like, three or four times a week. And so I went to these meetings, and let me tell you, dude, they're, they were fucking terrible, bro. Like, hold, and you, this is after someone who went to three months of rehab. Like, those meetings were worse, arguably. Like, like each one was like three hours, three to four hours long of just sitting there listening to someone tell like the same fucking story over and over and over again. Like, it was fucking boring. I literally sat on my phone the whole time and played Minecraft. I think I still have that world. I don't know. It might be on my iPad. I don't, I don't know. But um, I can't remember if I played Minecraft on my iPhone or iPad. It doesn't fucking matter. But it was like two hours of just listening to some guest speaker talk about AA bullshit or like his life story. And then it, like at the last hour, we like sat in a circle like you do in the movies and say, hi, my name is Jacob and I'm a fucking drug addict. Except when I went to that part, I said, hi, I'm Jacob and I'm not an addict. And I don't need to be here, which I, I believe that shit, dude. Um, and yeah, so after the, uh, the counselors there saw that I wasn't taking it seriously, they told my parents, my parents stopped making me go to these meetings. And then it was like, I want to say it was like one or two more months of just like really like a bunch of awkward silences between me and my family and my parents, like, like a lot of uncomfortability, a lot of not speaking for like literally two months. And, like, I remember, like, we'd get in the pettiest arguments and fights, though. Like, I'd leave a fork in the sink, right? And my mom would, like, do all the dishes but leave my fork and tell me to come do my dishes. And it'd be, like, one fork. And then sometimes, like, that situation would happen and it wouldn't be my fork or bowl or whatever. And so then I would just let my mom have it. And we'd get in these crazy arguments. Like, it was everything. Like, my mom tried to do everything in her power at that time to make my life as bad as possible in her house like literally everything she made me do all these ridiculous chores she'd just snap at me for no reason um and it was really bad it was really annoying and i literally just i wasn't working at the time i didn't have a car so literally my daily routine routine was to wake up play video games and then i'd go to the gym i'd ride my bike to the gym and be at the gym for like three hours work out come home and for some reason i had this like weird fix for like Starburst jelly beans. So after the gym, I'd go grab some Starburst jelly beans and go home and play Destiny 2 with my friends. And it was actually a really fun time because I really fucking enjoyed Destiny. Like, I was really into that game and I was, like, really good at it. Like, I just, like, slutted noobs in Crucible. Yeah, that's a term I use, by the way, whenever I'm destroying people in video games is slutting noobs. You're welcome to use that if you want. Just give me fucking credit. Um, but, yeah, I was playing a lot of Destiny, eating a lot of Starburst jelly beans. I was really swole at the time. I used to be a complete gym douche. Um, but, yeah, finally, um, my mom comes into my room one morning and tells me to turn my TV volume down. And I yell at her because, it, dude, it wasn't loud at all. She just, again, she was just doing that thing where she was trying to make my life hell. It wasn't loud at all, and I argue, and we yell, my dad sprints up the stairs, comes to my room, and tells me I'm kicked out. I have 24 hours to get out, but um, they're kicking me out, um, and that was it, like, literally over the TV volume. Like, obviously, it wasn't just the TV volume. It was, like, me being a, a, a little bitch in their house, and actually still, during that time, I did smoke weed a few times, and they knew about it. It was crazy how they caught me. And I mean, I don't know why I thought I'd get away with it because they're literally always spying on me. But, um, yeah, um, came in, told me I'm kicked out. Um, I think I'm going to make a part two to this video and kind of talk about the, you know, actually being kicked out and what I did because I, I got into not some trouble, but like some shit happened and I'll have some stories about that. I think the way I'm going to do this, um, because I want to do like a rehab series. I want to do, I want to do different series on certain life experiences I've had, but I feel like y'all need a lot of like background information on me first. So I'm just kind of, I'm just going to make some videos kind of talking about some life things that happened to give you more information before I just make like 
a bunch of videos talking about some like intense things I went through when you don't even know like what happened before so um, but if you, if you made it to this part of the video I just want to say thank you if you like it go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel I appreciate all the support I've been getting and I'll see you guys in the next one